What's up guys, come back at you with another Star Wars video. This video is suggested by your ghost hashtag. And I'll be going over the history of the Dark Saber. I find this saber very unique and very special because, well, it's black. <laughs> because, I mean, even the Sith don't even have a saber like this, and that's really awesome. The Dark Saber is a symbol of the leadership of House Vizsla of Mandalore. The Dark Saber is stated back a thousand years when the first Mandalore to ever become a Jedi. His name is Tar Vizsla. After Tar Vizsla's passing, the Jedi end up keeping the Dark Saber in their Jedi Temple. Over time, members of House Vizsla snuck into the temple and end up stealing the Dark Saber. House Vizsla end up using the Dark Saber to unite the people and later on end up ruling Mandalore itself. All the clans of Mandalore end up respecting the person who end up wielding the Dark Saber. It is a symbol of hope for all the people of Mandalore. Later, Prey Vizsla, the descendant of House Vizsla, and now the leader of the Mandalorian Death Watch, tried to use the Dark Saber in order to try to rule Mandalore again. After Death Watch united the people for a short amount of time, Darth Maul ended up evoking a one-on-one -on -one match against Prey Vizsla so he can rule Mandalore himself. After a long, hard fight between the two combatants, Darth Maul ended up winning by decapitating Prey Vizsla's head. Now the Dark Saber fell into the hands of Darth Maul. Just when Darth Maul ended up starting to rule Mandalore, Darth Sidious ended up coming to Mandalore and ended up facing off against Darth Maul and also Sawaja Press. During the fight, Sawaja Press ended up getting killed by Darth Sidious and Sidious ended up capturing Maul. It wasn't until loyal members of Death Watch ended up rescuing Maul from the hands of Sidious. After this, Maul ended up going into exile and still in possession of the Dark Saber. Over time, Sabine Ran from House Ran of Mandalore ended up getting the Dark Saber from the lair of Darth Maul. Sabine later on ended up taking the Dark Saber to House Ren of Mandalore in the plan of gathering up all members of the clans of Mandalore to fight against the Empire. I find this really interesting on the history of the Dark Saber, and I kind of wish that there was actually more Jedi or Sith that end up having a Dark Saber similar to this one. But as of now, that's the history of the Dark Saber and the person who is in the wielding it at the moment. I really hope you enjoyed the history of the Dark Saber. Write down in the comments down below what you really think about this rare and very unique saber. And also, if you really enjoyed this video, I would be really grateful if you leave a like. And subscribe for more upcoming videos like this to come in the foreseeable future. And with that, I'm dropping the mic. <laughs>